Hello guys, welcome to Jhook and in today's session we are going to see Helm Chart plugin and what are the different features provided by a Helm Chart plugins. Before we begin, there are certain concepts which we need to understand before we start using the Helm Chart plugin. And Helm Chart community provides a lot of plugin uh, for different uh, purposes, but uh, in today's session we are going to focus on a Helm Diff plugin. But before we start, let's see what are the core concepts behind the Helm Chart plugins. So the first question is why we need a Helm Chart plugins or why we need any kind of a plugin with the helm chart so to answer that question uh, it's very easy tool which improves your day-to-day -day operation it ease out your manual task it is very pluggable you can create your own plugin also it is very convenient via command line interface because everything which we do in the kubernetes we try to do it with a command line interface and as i said you can build your own helm chart plugin based on your own need so the first plugin which we are going to see is the helm diff plugin let's talk about the features provided by the helm diff plugin the first feature which is provided by the helm diff plugin is the release difference you can identify the difference between the releases of your helm chart the second feature which provided by the helm diff plugin is the version differences based on the versions of your release you can also identify the differences moving forward let's check out the scenario how we are going to create a release and how we are going to use the helm diff plugin okay so i'm going to create my first hello world helm chart after that i'm going to create my first release the release number one and in that release the replica count is one so that is my first release in the second step i'm going to use the same hello world my hello world helm chart and i'm going to create a second release and i'm going to update my replica count to two so this is going to be my second release and this second release what i'm what i'm going to do i'm going to upgrade my existing release so i'm going to upgrade my release number one with a release number two but the change which i'm performing over there i'm increasing the replica count so i will have a two replica sets of my hello world uh, helm chart and once i'm done with these two steps of releases then i'm going to run my command that is helm diff revision my hello world one and two so here in this command if you look carefully helm diff is the keywords which you need to use then you need to tell on what principle you are going to find the differences so that is our revision i'm going with the revision number so revision number uh, that is one and two at the end you can see in the command and also you need to specify your release name so the my release name is my hello world enough with the theory part uh, let's go ahead and perform some demo and here on the screen on the left hand side you can see this is my terminal where I have set up my Kubernetes cluster already and on the right hand side you can see this guide and I'll put the link of this guide into the description section so you don't need to remember any of your commands so you can just come back and check this guide where you will find all the commands which I'm going to use inside my demo. Okay so the first step uh, whenever you're working with the plugins you need to install the plugin and the plugin which I'm going to use is Helm diff plugin so you need to install each plugin which you are going to use inside your Helm chart. By default Helm chart doesn't provide you any plugin and if you are not sure like you have any kind of a plugin already installed then you can run the command helm plugin list and as you can see this is my fresh cluster and this is the fresh installation of a helm chart so here you will see there is nothing in the list the list is completely empty so that means i don't have any plugin which is already installed on my kubernetes cluster okay the first step should be uh, i need to install the helm diff plugin so this is the command and this helm plugin is uh, open source and it is maintained at the github community so you can copy this command and if you see uh, any problem using this command then please check out their github page where they keep on updating this url uh, if it doesn't work in case so i'll copy this command over here and i'll perform the installation so it is basically going to clone that github repo and after that it is going to install okay so i think our plugin has been installed you can see install plugin def i'll clear the screen over here the next step would be to create our hello world helm chart and the command which i'm going to use is helm create followed by your hello world helm chart name and then hit enter and i'll clear the screen and once you do the ls and as you can see this is the helm chart which i have created and also you can see the command using tree hello world so once you create your helm chart then you will see this uh, structure of files has been created by helm chart all right so this is our first helm chart then i'm going to create my first release if you remember uh, in the ppt 
I have shown this step where we have created the hello world helm chart and after that we are going to create the first release. So the next step would be to create the release. For creating the release you need to install your hello world helm chart and the command for that, that is helm install my hello world. This is your release name that can be anything of your choice which you can put any name for the release but the second part you should always put the correct helm chart which you have created so that is hello world that is in the previous step which we have done and then hit enter okay to verify whether you have created the successful release or not you can run the command helm list and a and here i'll screen increase the size of the screen so you can see so here you can see this is your release name that is my hello world and if you remember our command this is our release name which we have given so that is our release name followed by the namespace that is default that's okay and this is the revision that is one so uh, keep remembering this revision number that is one because we are going to use this revision in our helm diff plugin okay after this step if you move back to our slide the second step would be again use the same chart then create a second release but increase the replica count to two so in this step uh, the next step uh, we are going to increase the replica count first for increasing replica count first clear this screen go to your helm chart directory and then uh, there should be values.yml so here you can see this is the values.yml which we are going to update so i'm going to open in edit mode and here you can see the replica count is one so i'm going to increase this replica count to two so we will be having two replicas of our hello world helm chart okay and after that i'm gonna quit and save it and we can verify our changes has been saved so i can do the cat and it should have two over here so as you can see the file has been updated okay so i think i'll clear the screen and i'll reduce the screen size so we can see the guide also the next step is how i can apply these changes so to apply these changes what you need to do is you need to use the helm upgrade command so the command is uh, helm upgrade and followed by your uh, release name that is my hello world and then dot uh, this dot is special if you are inside this hello world package or the directory then you don't need to specify the chart name you can simply specify the dot and it should work okay so now our release has been upgraded let's go and verify our version has been increased or not i'll clear the screen and you can run the command again helm list a so here you can see I told you to remember the revision number and here the revision number is 2. That means our release has been upgraded. Previously once we uh, done the step number 1, if you see this is step number 1 over here. So here uh, we had the version number 1 and after the release 2 the uh, version has been increased that is 2. Let's go back to our guide and now we are in a shape where we can run our helm diff plugin command. Okay, So the command for that is... Uh, uh, if you go down here it is so the command is helm diff revision uh, this is the revision which we are talking about on the left hand side if you can see my hello world that is your release name one that is your previous step number one revision second that is your step number second revision so copy this command and paste it over here and here you can see it is telling you the difference uh, which you did or the change which you did that is replicas we have changed the replicas from one to two so this is the uh, feature which you get after using this kind of a plugin so we have seen only the diff plugin and which tells you the difference between uh, the, the difference releases which you have done so this is just an introductory session where i showed you how you can use the different kinds of plugins uh, although i have taken only one plugin as an example but you can go on google and check the all the different plugins which are available and provided by the helm chart community so it is pretty simple to use this kind of a plugin and that can ease out your day-to-day operation if you are working in the devops and lastly once you are done with it uh, you can install this plugin uh, simply using the command helm plugin install and uh, the plugin name so that is our diff so i'll copy this command and paste it over here so as you can see my diff plugin has been installed in the next session we are going to see how to install wordpress using helm chart i hope you liked the today's session on how to use the different kinds of a plugin in the helm chart and if you have any question then please put down into the comment section thanks